What is going on folks? It is I, Randy with RTS Mobile Gaming, bringing you another fantastic video today. In today's video, we're playing Sea of Conquest, and we're going to be talking about how to build ships in Season 2. This is an exciting time. In Season 2, we unlock this fantastic new ability within your ship menu to click on this build button. This does not exist in Season 1, okay? You can technically craft the blue ships in Season 1, but you can't really build the ship until Season 2. The build feature opens up this nice little interface that shows you all the ships you can craft. In Season 2, you can only craft the Warhammer and you can craft the Stormbringer. That is it. This also does not mean you can craft the legendary versions of these, not as a guarantee anyways. You have to craft a certain number of these ships. It'll either be 20 blues or 10 purples or some combination in between before you get a guaranteed legendary. You can also randomly get a legendary. is a, a couple percent chance to craft that. So there is a chance that you will craft a legendary version of the ship, and you will also craft a ship that has a random set of skills. We'll talk about that in one second. First, let's talk about how to actually get the materials to craft the ship and how to get materials to reroll the ship skills. Okay, so as you can see here, I need 20 blueprint of Stormbringer in order to craft the Stormbringer. I also need 20 shipwright hammers. Okay, so where can you get these? There's a couple places. First off, there are in-game events that will drop these throughout Season 2 in the beginning. Okay, so if you are free to play, you can uh, grab a few of those from the events and maybe craft one or two ships from the events. You can also go to the Cartographer's Corner after you've explored uh, incidents on the Season 2 map and purchase enough materials to craft the Stormbringer and the Warhammer one time each. If you want to craft it more than the one time each from the Cartographer's Corner and more than the one or two additional times from the in-game events, you are going to need to purchase packs, okay? That is just how it is. So if you're going to purchase packs, you can get these ship deals. Sometimes they're specials, okay? But you can get them in the value pack section, okay? You will find these packs that will give you the blueprints and a pack that will give you the hammers. They start much lower at a little bit over $5 a pack, US dollars, and they go up, obviously, as you buy more of them. Uh... If you are going to buy packs, I highly recommend you use the sponsor for my channel, Paxify. Check the link in the description below. You're going to save about 35% on your actual cost here. Okay, it's safe. I literally used the service yesterday to purchase some packs. So it's a good service. They've got a Discord community, about 10,000 players. They've been around for three years. They've saved players over $4 million in pack discounts. Check it out if you are going to buy packs. But no matter what you do to get to your materials, you are still going to need them. And then you're going to go to the build section of crafting the ships and actually click craft, okay? Um, and here you can see just by clicking craft, I didn't have enough materials, so it opened up and gave me this $10.81 pack option. You can do that as well. Really, whatever it is, okay? Uh, so, when you are crafting the ship, things you need to know. Like I said, it is not a guarantee to get a legendary ship, okay? It's also not a guarantee to get the skills that you see in the $100 pack ships. In fact... You can get any combination of these two dozen skills that are available, okay? First off, you're going to get one guaranteed ultimate skill, and this skill cannot be changed. You can change all the other skills on the ship. Well, you can reroll one skill on any ship, I should say, um, but you cannot reroll the ultimate skill. So whatever you craft, you want to make sure it has the ultimate skill that you want, or else you should probably disassemble that ship for the materials and craft a new one, okay? That will allow you to recover some of your builder hammers, some of your gold. It'll give you additional uh, materials that you need to re-roll skills on ships. So disassembling a ship is not necessarily a bad thing. It'll actually help you make a better ship later on. So plan on making two or three ships so you can disassemble two of them and make one of them better. All right? But anyways, you'll get one guaranteed ultimate skill, and then every ship has a certain number of unique skills. Warhammer has four unique skills. Stormbringer has eight unique skills. In addition to the unique skills, okay, uh, they also have general skills that can roll on any ship. So you could end up with a Warhammer and a Stormbringer that has identical sub-skills, and the only difference is their ultimate skill. That is entirely possible, okay? Uh, there are a lot of skills to cover and a ton of material to talk about skill-wise, so I'm going to do a separate video for each ship to really talk through every individual skill, the different combinations that I recommend using for different builds, and that'll take me probably 20-30 minutes per ship. So 
Uh, you should expect a 20 to 30 very in-depth video for each one of these ships coming out later, not this particular one, uh, that will outline how to do that. Anyways, once you've created the ships, okay, and you've got the unique skills or the regular skills on them, whatever it is, if you don't like the skills that you got on your ship, like I said, you cannot re-roll, oops, you cannot re-roll the ultimate skill. However, you can re-roll any one of these sub-skills. See, if I try and click the ultimate, it says cannot be refined. But all of the sub-skills on these ships, including the ones you purchased in the $100 pack, if you got the packs, they can all be re-rolled to any one of those couple dozen skills that are available in the skill menu. What's important to know about this? I have two very important facts for you to know. One, you can only re-roll one skill. If you change one skill, you can re-roll it as many times as you want. The cost to re-roll it will continue to go up. However, once you pick one skill to re-roll, you cannot touch the other two skills forever. That's it. They're locked in. So make sure you pick wisely. Okay. Two, uh, you can only use one ship of the same name. That is very important because I did not know that. I actually purchased the Stormbringer for $100, and then I spent another $100 crafting more Stormbringer ships. I was like, I'm going to have two Stormbringers running around. Nope. Definitely not. Did not work out well. You see the fact that I have 26 legendary materials up here? That's because I disassembled the legendary ship. I crafted a legendary, which was really nice for my artillery build. I was going to put my, my artillery build on the legendary ship. And then I found out after I leveled it up to level 31, that actually I just wasted a ton of gold because you cannot use it. Okay, so one ship of the same name. You can only reroll one sub skill. One sub skill. <laughs> And that's it. All right. Uh, one more thing that you should know is when you are re-rolling and refining the skills on these ships, you can roll down or up a quality. So let's just pretend that you got a purple ship. You got three purple skills. You're going to re-roll a skill. It could give you a blue skill as an option or a legendary skill as an option. You can roll up or down in quality on the skills. Same thing goes with the legendary ships. The legendary ship I crafted actually had a purple ability on it that I rolled off and I got the legendary ability I really wanted. <sighs> However, I could not use two ships with the same name and the one, the other one that I had for my burn build is just better. So I deleted that one. Uh, but you can, like I said, get different quality skills. So keep that in mind. You may need to re-roll once or twice. So that's the video, folks. If you have liked this video, please like, subscribe. And again, if you're going to buy packs, check out Packsify on my link below because they're going to save you money. All right? Randy.